searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you an episode of Last Epoch. And I have to stress the name is Last Epoch. All right, I'm a jerk. I know. Somebody tried to correct me on it, and I actually listened. And I've got a little website that I go to anytime I have a new game, and I put their their name or like some skills or stuff. If I can't really pronounce it, I'm getting the pronunciation wrong, just to make sure that I'm getting it correct. And I am. I am. This time I am. But this is a Thorns man mancer. Now my idea for this build, and I've I've messed around on Dar. That was my first Beastmaster, and found out that it, it can work. It's going to be a lot of poison, but I'm not, I was going to call it a poison mancer build, but I decided not to because it's more about the thorns. Yeah, thorns are going to be giving poison. I'm going to be using serpent strike, and that can do poison, but it's all about the thorns, baby. You know, it, this is a thorny thing, you know. I want to get my thorns. Okay, I'm going to stop, okay? So I'm going to be using Thorn Burst, Summon Thorn Totem, uh, Serpent Strike. I will have a Summoned Bear. I probably won't summon the wolf very often. And Entangling Roots. Those are the th those are going to be the main skills. I might mess around with some other stuff. Um, Thicket Blades kind of sounds kind of cool. And... I want to see the Veil Spirit. I've never summoned the Veil Spirit, so I want to see what that looks like. But my main thing, so I'm going to be leveling up to get to Thorns. Once I have Thorn Burst, that is the first thing that I'm going to specialize in. And then after that, I'm going to specialize in the Summon Thorn Totem. And then Serpent Strike. And I think that's it. At least for this run. Now, this run's going to be a little bit differently. I'm going to play through the game. Now, the last time I did it, it was only three episodes. I just ran straight through the game. This time, we, we're going to do that. We're going to be running through the game. We're probably going to run through the game a couple times again and again and again. Because I want to explore the, the skills themselves. It's not about beating the game this time. It's about... Okay, so I'm saying that Thorn Burst is going to be my one of my main skills. And Summon Thorn Totem. Well, I want to explore those. I want to get a chance. I don't care how many runs it takes me. I want to fully fill out the, the Summon th uh, Thorns Totem and the Thorn Burst. I want to see what you really can do. I found something really cool with Thorn Summon thorn, thorn Totem, and I'm not going to let it slip yet. I mean, you guys, if you guys look at it, you're going to see it. It's like, well, dude, that's obvious. Well, it might have been obvious, but I'm an idiot, and I didn't see it. And it really is cool. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll leave that as a surprise. We'll see. Ugh, a white. Now I was why I uh, was looking at another YouTuber, it's a German gentleman, who uh, did a video on this game. Uh, it was actually a stream, if I remember correctly, he was a stream he did of this game, and he put it up on YouTube, and I checked it out. His very first enemy across the bridge, the very first thing that it's fighting the dog and you kill, dropped a unique. I'm like, are you effing kidding me? That's, that's a kind of guy that goes into, you know, Diablo or WoW or something and gets like um, a, a drop that the first time he, he faces um, a goblin, the goblin drops a, a worldwide unique or something. You know, some type of a completely uh, unrealistic kind of drop that shouldn't drop from a goblin. You know what I'm saying? I was like, are you I've been kidding me. All right, so here it is, Thorn Burst. That's gonna be one of my main skills, especially until I get the Totem. Once I get the Totem, Totem is gonna be the way I kill most of my enemies, but anything that gets close enough to me, it'll be Thorn Bursted down, baby. I know I'm acting really weird. It's, it's just one of those days. Um, You know, I might as well. It's not gonna hurt me to, to use it. Run. Now the reason, another reason I said I wanted, I was gonna call it a Thorns Master, is because I'm gonna pull these guys back just a little bit. Is because right now I can't do any poison. My ability is not poisoning the uh, 
the, the things until I can specialize in it. Then I can cause them to uh, cause poison. And I already have some equipment stashed away for this character. And it's a little bit of a twinkify, but it won't tw it won't tweak me too much. I don't think. Now, Fury Leap is something that I'm uh, for a while I'm going to be using because I'll be using it like this. Hold on, I want to make sure I'm targeting the Necromancer. Fury Leap on top of him, which I actually missed him because he was running toward me. And then do the thorns right on top of him, which uh, it works. Might not be a perfect. <laughs> there we go. Now you can bust these barrels. Make sure you do, because the, the barrels can... I've had magical items drop out of the barrels, which is actually pretty cool. Gold, obviously, is normal. There we go. See what I mean? And I, I didn't have two rings. Oh, no, I actually had some rings on. Yeah, drop you, drop you. Health regeneration versus fire protection. I want the health regeneration. Do I want fire protect? Nope. Critical strike chance. I'll hold on to that one and try to bust it and get the critical strike chance out of it. Minion physical damage. Here's a question of the developers. If you guys watch this, um, something that I haven't been able to find info on is are totems seen as minions? Meaning if I have an ability that buffs my, uh, my minions, does it also buff my totems? If so, then minion damage and uh, all the quote unquote minion uh, specific skills are very useful. But I don't know if that's, if that's the way the game is set up. So if you can let me know, I'd really love to hear that. And I'm sure you're, uh, the fans in the game would like to know too. Not just me. I mean, I'm more important in my opinion. That's just, whoa, hello. Jump on top. Oh, 41 points of damage on that noise. Run out of the damage zone. We have a poison. I'm just gonna drop that. I'll come back to it. I can't jump yet. Ah, now I got the swipe, which actually does pretty good damage, but I'm, I'm gonna die. My wolf's dead. You killed my wolf. All right. You know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of poison. I'm going to grab that. 12%. Let's see. I like the health regen, though. I really don't want to give up the health regen. Fire damage. See, there's minion damage again. So I really, I really need uh, an answer on that because that's that's kind of important to this build. At least I think it is. Yeah, the the totems can be very powerful, and being able to buff the totems would make it even more so. So I have an imperial spear. I've I've upgraded it several times to have thirty six poison damage. Adds twelve percent to poison on hit and I can leech health with it I'm going to leave this one here because it also has 30% uh, to poison on hit so I want to be able to pull that out of there Um, do I really want to? yeah I want a twink twink is fun I mean in some games it's not but in this one I feel it can be fun now you don't need two of these rings it doesn't work very well at least I haven't seen it do too much beekeepers are nice in this build because i'll be doing a lot of melee and the bees poison now i don't know if my poison additional poison will affect what the bees do with poison uh take a helm might as well grab one like my movement speed i think the rest of the stuff i'll probably just sell off there was something that had critical strike chance. I want to take that off of there. Um, I don't really like the gloves very much. I like the ones I'm wearing. Um, the bleeding heart. It's such a good item. You know, it's like I can't 
I can't, it's right there. And I got this when I was testing the build, testing the thorns out. And three strength. I'll be using a lot of mana, so I think I will go ahead and, and switch to that. Yeah, I'm tweaking myself, okay? Get over it, you know? It's it's the fun of doing Now, one thing to note, oh, it makes me look cool. I mean, come on, look at that. <laughs> the wolf's gonna disappear, trust me. It's gonna be replaced by the, uh, the bear once I get it. Now, a lot of the things that I have brought up and, and said, you know, hey, this would be a nice change or this would be a nice change. The developers are answering on uh, either my videos or actual, uh, and in Discord, and they actually are listening. They have made some of the changes uh, that we as a community have suggested and a few of the ones that I've suggested as well. So I'm glad they're listening. All right, new specialization. We're going to specialize Thorn Burst. All right. This one is nice, the piercing, okay? And, but I'm gonna be going for poison per hit first, then getting the thorns, a 10% temper temper chance that when I'm hit, I actually cast a thorn burst out, which is very nice. And then dense thicket, 34% chance uh, per point for six additional thorns. This is gonna get maxed. I haven't tried Thorn Shield yet, but I am interested in trying it. But for right now, a chance to poison. So now I can poison that weapon I just got is actually useful. Um, you know, I had never looked in the Fury Leap. Hmm. Poisonous Vines. Ooh. You know, if someone, uh, the pack leader, Summon wolves leap with you could actually be an interesting thing. Hmm. I might have to might have to do a, a, another uh, build focusing on uh, more of a uh, leader of the pack. <laughs> if I could get the rights to it, I'd play the uh, song "Leader of the Pack" in the background every time that he uh, he does his leap and all the uh, all the wolves jump with him leader of the pack <laughs> that'd be cool all right these guys are gonna be nasty uh hopefully i do poison good i poisoned i'm gonna get away because <laughs> they blow up and they do a huge amount of damage when they blow up right now that kind of damage would kill me so if i can if i do uh if they're the exploding ones and I poison them, I, I step back and let the poison just do their thing. Damage over time, that I'll take because, ooh, poison damage. That's a good one to try to break. All right, got them poisoned. Now, sometimes they, they respawn. Doesn't look like he, he was a respawner. And that's the power of the thorns. Thorns can be fun. I definitely have to, but just wait till I get the totem going good. Okay, now these can be exploding guys. So poison and pull back. Not that one, uh, the red one. These two are the exploding ones in this area. Awesome. Now you saw that they were running slower. Bring up my gear, I think. This right here, 5% increase attack speed, 10% uh, adds 50% slow chance. So I'm increasing my chance to poison by 50%, and I also have 50% chance to slow. So if I can poison and then slow something, awesome. Now I'm gonna go straight down. Uh, I'll be doing the Chieftain, because I want Venomous, venomous Bites. I want tox man, uh, the Toximancer and relentless and i'll take the mana and that kind of stuff i only went as far as getting the tox man uh toxy mancher so now my wolves can poison and i think i have to get down like 11 points on each side to be able to unlock that if i remember correctly ooh, ooh, i've got an unallocated skill point 
uh, question is, do I want to go for... I think I want to go for this first, because since I'm specializing in the thorns, having additional thorns, the ability to have additional thorns shoot out is actually pretty important. Ah, uh, I got a slow. Awesome. Ouch, right on top of me. Go help out my wolf. Um, minion health. I'll take both of those. Minion physical damage. I'll grab that one. Leave that. Don't need the white. White's just a waste of space. Ouch. It shot lightning out of its butt. Or thorax. Same thing. <laughs> that was cool. Jumped in and killed. Could have done a second jump, but I didn't think about it. I was having too much fun. Movement speed, something I'll always pick up. Now, the reason I'm saying is I'm I'm picking the items up, but I'm actually trying to pick up this the stuff that I want to uh, try to get the, the shards off of. You go in here, you put a modifier, it's a shattering shard, and you shatter the item and you hope to get what you're looking for. Like this one, I'd hope to get the 18% or a tier one poison damage off of this. That's a nice thing. And actually, I should put that on, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Because that's just extra poison damage. All right. Sleep. I summon another wolf by accident. Lizard. Health regeneration, elemental protection. Tome of the Beetle. Okay. Minion intelligence. Nope, I'll pass on. I don't need any more intelligence. I know things. <laughs> that's right. See, that single wolf is doing pretty good. I don't have to specialize in the wolf. As long, you know, like I said, as long as I'm doing, as long as I'm being careful about what I'm doing. Now, when it gets really, when it, the mobs get much stronger, uh, getting right in the middle of them will be a problem. But that's where my uh, totems will come in. Finish them off. Any yellows I'm going to pick up, though, because they'll sell pretty good. Uh, uh, critical st chance strike multiplier. Okay, that one I'll definitely take. Damage over time. Another one into here. Now you should be able to see it happening more often now. You see the right there. I'm having more, more thorn, more thorns spit out. That's what I want to see because that's more damage, more poison. That's the whole point. Now let's keep going down this way until I get to Relentless. The health from Relentless is very nice. I want my health. Give me my health. And poison works pretty good on these guys. I was kind of surprised. Oh, more poison damage. Nice. What was that? Uh, straight poison damage on that, huh? I'm going to I'm gonna unequip that for right now. I'll have to go back soon, though, because my uh, inventory is getting full. Now, these things that spit things into the air like this... They're a little bit harder for me why I don't have the uh, the totem because the uh, I have to get up close to them to actually drop uh, damage on top of them. My wolf died. Summon my wolf back. That's going to be a common thing going on for a while now. Movement, health regen. Yeah. Right in the center. Fury leap out of the way. Now you can see I got hit because it summoned a tree. Now that tree is going to uh, drag all the aggro. I'm on Fury Leap. Why am I not Fury Leaping? It's recharged. Oh, I'm running toward the tree. I see. So I'm talking about those trees being really nice. All right, let's run back to the square.
and I'll put away some of these things that I want to try to take things off. Like I said, hopefully I'll I'll put a question in the uh, in the uh, Discord as well, because I'm not gonna I'm gonna be recording these back to back to get them knocked out, and maybe I'll try to send a, a private message to one of the developers and see if I can get an answer as well. If I do, I'll let you know in the next comment that, hey, yeah, I got an answer. Yes or no. Blunt. Now I'm going to save all the minion stuff. And is there anything that you're selling that I might be interested in? Cast speed is another good thing for this character. Something I have to keep a, an eye out for. I'm hoping that'll cause my thorns to cast faster. Cast, spe uh, cast speed will, will be nice. Oh, I just got in the middle. That's not cool. Serpent Strike, which my next one of the next skills I wanted. Let's go ahead and kill those guys off quick. My Fury... Okay, I said my Fury Leap wasn't working. That was weird. All right, new skill, Serpent Strike. Serpent Strike is going to be my standard strike. There we go. That's fully buffed. Like seeing that. And there. Should remember to try to uh, hit the uh, Fury Leap again. Now, it still costs mana, but you get a free. that It resets the timer. Leech just health. I like that stat, too. That's what keeps me alive. Serpent Strike, which is actually pretty powerful. Now the bees are out, because I now I'm using more uh, a melee attack. I can have those bees. But that's how powerful Serpent Strike is. Very nice. Skip on elemental damage. one swipe with the uh, with serpent strike serpent strike is not something to uh originally i didn't like it but it is very nice one of those things that i should probably uh i will specialize in but i want the uh summon oh i can't specialize in it yet but i am going to bring it out so that's going to be number four for me now i missed that actually had that open i'm an idiot haha <laughs> But you guys already knew that. You've watched my videos, so you obviously know I'm a complete idiot. All right. Now, this is a little boss for this area. I can only have two uh, totems out, but I will use the totems continuously on, on these guys. Bring out my wolf, because I'm going to need him. Come here. <laughs> yeah, Serpent Strike is not to be... Uh, uh, it's actually a lot better than I thought it was. Ooh, Poison Damage. Saw that one. Do I have a... I do have a Shattering Stone. Let's see if I can get lucky and get some more Poison out. 15% Poison Damage. It'd be nice if I can get that one. Shatter. I got Poison. Increased Stun... Increased poison damage. So this sour. So I have this Imperial Spear. I've already got poison damage at a T3. I have a 24% chance to fracture it if I try to upgrade it. Now I twinked myself. Um, if I break this item, I'm not worried about it. I, I don't want to break it. But if I do, I do. I want to see if I can... Ah, sweet. I'm at a T4 for my 49% poison damage Ooh. bada bing baby and then I'll help out with some of my own thorns Ooh, hello usually don't get them this early but I will not look a, a, a gift unique in the, uh, in the mouth 
a way to end an episode. Get a unique. Oh, I've never seen this one before. Dodge rating, movement speed, gain ward on dodge based on your dodge rating and dodge. Now, what ward is, things may be fickle, few more so than life itself. Okay. Um, ward is kind of like additional life. So that's this bar right here, and it fills up, and you get you can get all the way, I think, up to here. I think it's as high as it can go. And it's additional life. So what happens is when you have ward, when you're taking damage, this gets used up first, and then your health starts going down. But I like mine, the Viper Tail. It's perfect for this build. But I'm glad I got a unique. That's one I hadn't seen before. But my time is up. I've been critical. This has been Last Epoch. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, uh, go ahead and drop a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.